In today's episode, we're in Portugal exploring an abandoned hydroelectric power plant. It dates all the way back to the 1920s and remarkably contains almost all of its original machinery. In recent years, a brand new dam and powerhouse were constructed, housing generators that could provide over six times the electrical output of the old facility. Since then, the original plant has sat quietly in obsolescence. Now, join us as we venture inside and discover what's left. After traveling and filming abandoned places, there's only one thing I look forward to, a good night's sleep. And thanks to Helix Sleep for ensuring a well-rested night and sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've had my Helix mattress for about 10 months now and it's been great. I've been less restless throughout the night and I've had a lot fewer sore mornings when I wake up. Sometimes, actually most of the time, I'm so comfortable I don't even want to get out of bed. It's a real struggle fighting that alarm in the morning. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and shipped right to your door. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that. On their website is a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleeping preferences to the mattress that best fits you. They have something for everyone, and if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together to find something that fits both of you. The mattress is shipped in a box directly to your door. It comes rolled up with impressively compact packaging. Because of how compact it was shipped, I was able to get it into the bedroom and set up on my own. And it really surprised me how well it was packed and how quickly it expanded. Only a few minutes and it was ready for a solid nap. Based on my results, Helix matched me with the Midnight. I'm a side sleeper and prefer a medium feel, something that's soft but still supportive. They also offer an optional Glacio Tex cooling cover which I opted for. It helps maintain the temperature in the summer but I'm also noticing it helps during winter. I like it colder when I sleep and the cooling cover pulls the heat away from my body. Over these past 10 months, I've had better and more comfortable sleep than I ever had before. This is the mattress I wish I could have when traveling. And while it isn't possible to bring it with me, the first night back home always comes with a super restful and comfortable night's sleep with the Helix mattress. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash proper people for 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. There's the security shack. I don't think that's going to be much of a problem for us. Oh, there's a window open. Look at that. It's fucking awesome. Okay. You're not getting in here? No. Yeah. Super nice in here. Great colors, great details, great turbines. A mix of all different ages, too. Do you see the details on this staircase?
I'm guessing there was a massive one over here that was removed. Yeah. There's a big hole in the floor. That's a shame. It was probably more modern. Oh, there's no stairs there. Okay. <laughs> it just ends. That would have connected to the unit right yeah. there. Yeah. Generator four. Wow, that staircase is nice. Well, there's your answer for who okay. made this. Well, that one's Brown Bavaria. Oh, really? Yeah, this one's Siemens. Wow. I like the design of this one more, but I like their typeface better. Yeah. It's really cool. This one says Unit 3, placed in service July 1932. This does seem quite old to me over here. This would have been like three times the size as those. It's a big hole in the wall back there as well. Well, this gauge does, and guess where it's from? Rockford, Illinois. Woodward Governor Co. So this was the speed governor for the turbine. Mm -hmm. Got the tachometer up here. There's even like a glossy trim. It matches the wall, the tile on the walls. Yeah, super nice. Something's definitely missing from there. Yeah. It's like in the tile. Wow. Something commemorative. They're partially stripped. It's still pretty cool looking. I love these giant wheels on the sides of them. Open up the valves. Looks like the turbines are Escher Weiss and the generators have been rebadged, I'm guessing. I think the generators were General Electric because that's what the exciter is right here. GE? There you go. General Electric, a little taste of home out here across the Atlantic. Look at this belt over all these pulleys. It's really cool. still hear the water flowing underneath this one. This is where the water was shooting up outside. I wonder if it was scrappers who got to these? Or I don't know. workers or the company? Probably workers. 
because they would have needed the gantry crane to remove the covers on the sure, and the covers are completely gone. Yeah. All the little details on these old machines are so fascinating. Check it out, we're underneath the generators right now. So the turbines are down there. Are down here, the yeah. generators up there. So we've just added another brand of machinery. Oh yeah. The turbines here are JM Voith. Yes. Which we saw the plaque up there yes. that said that. So Siemens and Brown Boveri are just the generators. Yeah, and they got like a drive shaft. Yeah. This one's lower. Some gigantic tools left behind. This is an Escher Weiss turbine. They really mix and match. <laughs> this one kind of looks like the same setup as the ones that are horizontal. With these, uh, whatever you call these. Yo, I'm not sure what their purpose. This rag is sick. I think it's just brontosaurus. Oh no, it's all dinosaurs. <laughs> Check out these offices back here. They look relatively modern. They do. There's a bunch of papers stacked here. 1989 on the calendar. 1989, wow. This place is in really good condition if it's been abandoned since then. These documents up here are all from like 1982, 1986, which is in line for what we saw with the calendar. This is very well preserved. There's a drafting table in here. Engineering room, possibly. Looks like mostly logs. Yeah. There's 1990 stuff there. 2001. The dates just keep going up. Yeah. I would guess this place stopped being fully staffed back in the 80s. Yeah, but they were still doing something. Yeah. Oh, 2022. I'm just <laughs> Got a parts workshop. Lots of insulators. These things are gigantic. Oh wow. It's Porcelain. Like insulators. Yep. They're a perfect fit. Oh, control room up here. Oh shit. Floor. Oh, look, there's power. You're kidding. Wonderful. And an antenna. And an antenna. <laughs> it's to remote control something. I don't think anyone's coming in here, though. We were just walking around from the wires <laughs> down there, and it's buzzing. Wow, this is super nice. This is nice. Holy crap. This probably isn't the original ceiling, but still super cool. Look at these old things. Voltage regulators. Yeah, so you got this awesome control room. Would have looked right over the uh, substation with lots of natural light. Oh, yeah, you're right. 
You can control the substation. That's a glass door, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because the mountain went up. Uh, so you can get direct access. Yeah. And then also see the generators right here. On one side of the control room, you got a nice view of generators. The other side, you have a nice view of the substation. And on this side, you have a wonderful view of what is powering the entire thing, the river. A little beat up. Just a bit. The dates keep going up. <laughs> it says nine, 198, and then you're supposed to put in the blank for the last number. Just crossed out 2012. Wow. You Group three. Place, yeah, it's, three is the only one that was running. Which one was that? The Siemens one. The Siemens one. Okay. Frequency because it's 50 hertz in yeah. Europe instead of 60. Threw me off for a second too until I remembered. Despite the historic nature of this power plant, little has been done to preserve it from mother nature and vandals. Since the filming of this video, scrap metal thieves have begun to have their way with the building. Hopefully one day the old plant can be saved, but for now it will continue to fall into disrepair.